this time I'm working on Saturday so I've got a bit extra time I never did get around to doing designing the transmission cross mount so I'm going to do that first um, after having put the intake on here so I can level the engine also got to level out the uh, frame so that we've got a nice you know flat surface to work from and then I'm going to get up under here and design something for that I've got a big long list of things I want to achieve today chief of which being to get the engine out go over all of the frame here with the wire brush and get a coat of POR 15 on it I'm going to straighten out these pieces as well if I can get that all nicely done also on the agenda is I want to get the uh, bulkhead squared away so I'm going to choose which holes I'm going to leave so this one this one this one and this one they'll definitely go I need to get all of this area on both sides rust removed and uh, POR 15 coated I'm going to take off the step take off the battery box I've got my uh, setup with these caravan jacks that I bought they worked out quite well actually I didn't think they'd be tall enough but turns out that they do they are just a couple of two by twos in there I wouldn't trust them to work underneath but in order to get it leveled here I'm pretty happy with that I'm going by the rear frames here it's leveled left and right I know a piece of wood isn't the best straight edge ever but it's a 70 year old truck so there's going to be a certain amount of adjustment in it anyway whilst I was doing it I was thinking why am I jacking the front up so much the weight is in there with the engine but then I give a little bit of consideration to the fact that it's got no sheet metal or weight on the back and it's going to have a fair bit and been thinking about the uh, rear deck going to give that some more consideration today hopefully so yeah now I'm going to pull out all of the crap from underneath get the crawling board out and uh, do some drawings so this is the part which needs to be level I believe there's a three degree rake between the, the carburetor base and the engine and it's this piece which needs to be level so I'm going to go with that. Just got to lower the back of the transmission down a little bit. I've got the engine levelled on that piece of steel and I've drawn out some dimensions for doing a CAD drawing another time. I'm about to get the engine, the engine uh, leveller bolted back on and taken out and uh, start cleaning up this frame do some actual work I was just looking at this piece here I think it's quite scabby there but it doesn't need replace replacing any parts I'm thinking I'm gonna take that down and repaint the red on this whole piece a whole cowl and get these off and such as well
so it looks like I've got a bunch more welding to do on this side because uh, opened up a few holes I think I can just patch that along and make that look pretty the rest of it's solid enough dirty old work I'm going to take this step off I think So that's the step off. Battery tray needs to come off. So I'm gonna take that off next. You've got this little flappy flap thing here. I don't seem to remember seeing one on the other side. Yeah, the other side doesn't have one. Wonder if it ever did. Maybe that's just to protect the battery. See how that's fastened on. Might just remove it completely. I'm going to relocate the battery to around about this area, I think. So it'll be just under the deck. So I've gone as far as I'm going to go with it today. Uh, got to know your limits and all that. <coughs> <coughs> got prepped up though for a couple of days time when I'll, I'll fill these in. 
Uh, I've got some more little blanks prepared for that. I've got to decide which holes I'm keeping and which ones I'm getting rid of. Quite a lot of these aren't going to be needed, I think. So I think I'll just weld them up. I'm just going to take a look online and see what other people have used and what they haven't. And then uh, go from there. A lot of these holes are for those little clips, those little springy clip things which hold the sand deadening on. Well, I ain't going to use those, so kind of having a rethink about the floor. I was going to have the floor all out completely. Well, when I was underneath it and I was looking at that side where the rust holes are, I'm thinking, oh, actually, I could bash a piece of metal into the right shape for that and patch that and then only repair the front. Kind of like I did on the inner fenders, like replace maybe from here forward and then on this side, something similar. Although there's a lot more rust, so it'll probably have to be from here forward. Kind of had a bit of bad luck. I ordered um, a brake servo which would go underneath the floor from LMC Truck, and it was to be sent to the forwarding company in Florida. Um, and I mistook a box for having contained it, and it turns out I never received it. So I've got to get in touch with them. I don't, it never got received at the LMC at the uh, at my Florida forwarding company. So I guess I might be down five hundred and fifty dollars on that, which is kind of a kind of a drag. Can't really afford to lose that much money, but if it has gone and I don't get to have it back, I might change the plan on the brakes. So that would mean that I would possibly change the whole pedal arrangement and go with um, a Willwood type deal or something like that, or push down type pedal, and that's going to affect what I do with the floor. So I was looking at Half Ass Customs, how he did his, he, he's got a Mercury he's doing and he didn't have the, the, the big flappy pedally thing. He's got like a tiny little custom thing. I quite like the idea of that. I might go that route. But other than that, I feel like I've progressed quite a lot. I didn't expect to have to repair this piece, but that's done now. So no worries, hey? Catch you next time. So this is my shop stickers. If you want one of the English Charlie ones, then drop me a line, I'll send you one out.